Hi, this is Kent from PianoDrumTeacher.com. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying your music. This lesson here is on slash chords. Basically, it's how to play slash chords. You're going to see slash chords on a lot of sheet music, especially newer sheet music. Uh, typically, the sheet music would have a series of chords above sometimes above the notes written in the staff or sometimes just written above the lyrics of a song you may have no trouble understanding when you see a g that's g major for example but if you come across a g slash d or a g slash f that could create confusion or a complete blank in your brain uh, and I'm going to clear that up for you in a short little lesson here. The way to play a slash chord is the top letter before the forward slash or above the forward slash is the chord. Beneath or after the forward slash is a single note. That would be the note played in the bass. Again, the top letter or the first letter is the chord and the letter after the slash or beneath the slash is a single note all right so here's a couple examples and once i give you a couple examples that'll be pretty much the end of this lesson and you can find some sheet music with slash chords and you kind of see what's going on all right so let's say i see a g slash d well, here's the G chord in root position with a G on top. Basically, your G major chord is G, B, and D. By the way, if you just see a G, that defaults. It automatically means G major. If you were to see a G major 7 or any other words or numbers after the G, then that's going to be a slightly different chord. It still have G as the root. For example, you might see G minor. If you see that, the minor has to be there. G lowercase m, for example. But if you just see a G, that means G major. Okay, so we see a G. There's the chord that we want, but it says slash D. That means we have to have a D in the bass note. And that could, the next chord after it could possibly be just G. So we've just changed the bass note. G slash D, regular G. Sometimes the bass, the uh, lower letter will refer to a note that's not even in the chord normally. So you might have something like G slash C. And that's usually going to want to move somewhere. It's kind of a cool sound. It sounds like C major 7 without the E. And here's regular G. So I wanted to point out that you could have a slash chord where the chord is on top and the letter underneath is an actual note that's not part of the regular chord. You could have D over C. That would be the D major chord with a C in the bass. Now you could play that chord with just one hand same thing, D with a C in the bass. So one of the ways that slash chords are used is to have a simple way of writing an inversion. There's G in its root position. If I invert that chord, I might have G, B, and take this D and move it down to here. That's called an inversion of the G chord. So really, G slash D is a simple way of specifying that you want that particular inversion of the G chord. Another way that slash chords are often used 
is where you have a, a what, what I would call a descending bass line. So let's say we started on G as the bass. That's a regular G chord. Then we might have G slash F. Let me take this up a little higher. There's a G chord, regular G chord. With a G in the bass, then we have G slash F. And that kind of wants to go somewhere. How about G slash E? Then G slash D. Then you might have an actual D. Notice the bass note did not change there. This is a regular D chord. There's a D chord. So we went like this. G, just G, and then G slash F. G slash E. G slash D. Then a regular D. And finally, a G. So if you're coming across a slash chord and some regular chords, keep an eye out for the bass line. Look at those lower notes under each slash chord, and you will see a pattern of descending bass line a lot of times. So keep your eye out for a descending bass line. It helps you kind of realize what's really going on instead of just interpreting each slash chord as its own separate thing. All right, so that's about it on how to read and play slash chords. That's the end of this lesson. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time.